Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial for Punishment Coding Inc. My name is Sergeant Punishment and today I will be showing you how to program a Windows Service Prank in C -Shirt. The first thing we need to do is load Microsoft Visual Studio, not Visual C Sharp Express. Then we create a new project. I have mine already loaded up so let's create a Windows Service. Go to File, New, Project, Visual C Sharp, Windows, Windows Service. You can name this anything you want under the sun, but for the scope of the tutorial I'm going to call it Tutorial 1. Once you've got a name, click OK. Let it do its thing and load up. Right. Once you've got to this screen, you're good. Uh, right click on References, then Add Reference. Right, once it's loaded, you'll want to look around I can't remember exactly where it is ah here we go, system windows forms, you want to add a reference to system windows forms once it's highlighted, click OK and it should be added, yep it's been added Right. Uh, Click here to switch to code view right here, or right click in code view. It's up to you which one you want to do. Right, once we're here, this is where the fun starts. Using system.windows.forms, semicolon. Be careful, this is all case sensitive. If you get it wrong, you'll have errors and you'll feel stupid when you realise what it is. Right. We need to add system windows forms and system threading. You'll see why shortly. Underneath where it says initialize component, hit enter and we want to put int x equals 1 semicolon. I cannot stress enough how important the semicolon is. I've done quite a few programs in C Sharp and every single time I go to debug it the semicolon is always missing and it frustrates me, so remember the semicolon. Right, once we've got that line, we want string my msg equals nothing. So it's a blank slate. Random random number equals new Again, case sensitive, be careful. Random. Uh, that will produce a random thing. So, right. Now we need a loop. Do open curly bracket int delay equals random number dot next open bracket 60 comma 360 close bracket semicolon what that does is it will pick a number between 60 and 360 at random so it's doing what we want it to do you'll see why in a second thread dot sleep delay which is right here, which is what we want, times 1000. Right, you may be starting to get an understanding of what we need. <coughs> the int delay, random number next, 360 to 360, is it'll pick a random number, as I said, between 60 and 360. Then I'll put the delay in the sleep thread, or the thread sleep, whatever you call it. That. Then I'll times the randomly generated number by a thousand, and a thousand is one second. So you could be waiting between a minute, or however many minutes, 360 seconds, is, before it'll actually do something, which is what we want. 
Right. Now we need to do my MSG or my message equals get message. Dory throttle throw an error at the moment, but soon it won't. Just bear with me guys. Message box dot show open bracket get message and close bracket semicolon now I say don't worry now we want to close all of this off like so then while x equals equals 1 so I'm not a huge programmer but I believe that's like does not equal 1 or something I don't know Right. Above protected override void on start, you want to hit enter a couple of times. I do it to keep my code look, looking clean. And this is where we do our get message function or string or whatever. So we do public string get message open I always put up and then close then we want random random message uh, equals new random it'll pick a random message int msg equals 